With the number of people using food banks on the rise, there's an increasing need for charitable food projects that help service users to access a balanced diet. Food Cycle is a national charity that provides guests with a free, nutritious meal and the opportunity to eat with others. John Gibson went to Birmingham to find out what's on the menu. At this community church in the West Midlands, volunteers are turning nutritious food that would otherwise get wasted into meals for people who might otherwise go hungry or feel lonely. Right, great veg today. Today, Linda's running the kitchen. So what's on tonight's menu? Parsnip soup, which is what you're helping me with. Right. Uh, followed by leek gratin and uh, potato wedges. Right. And then there will be a bread and butter pudding with some stewed plums and a fruit smoothie. Food Cycle was set up in 2009 and now runs 39 projects like this one across the country. How important is it to give people a nutritious, well-balanced meal? That's what Food Cycle aims to do, is to deliver three nutritious warming courses to our guests who can sit and have a good social, a good chin wag. We recognise that that's incredibly essential, that the food we provide for people is absolutely nutritious. Some of our guests, unfortunately, this might be the only warm meal that they might have in a week, or they might actually not have the confidence to cook. Food Cycle is the most amazing charity. We do this with the most incredible volunteers, and they take it back to a community kitchen, like the one behind me, and there the magic happens. They turn it into a really delightful, warm, welcoming three-course meal for people who might be hungry or possibly lonely. 82% of them will say they eat more fruit and veg as a result of coming. Something that's really important when we're looking at building the immune systems, especially if you've been a really vulnerable person. But delivering nutritious food to the table depends on finding nutritious ingredients. Thank you. Marks and Spencer is one of its supporters. We donate three, four times a week, uh, sometimes five, um, and it's usually baked products and sort of ambient products are things that don't need to be chilled. We're trying to just make every part of our process as environmentally friendly as possible. And what would happen to this food if it wasn't donated? It would end up in the bin. According to the EU's Income and Living Conditions Survey, 8.4 million people in Britain live in food insecure households, with more than two thirds of Food Cycle's guests saying they worry about running out of food. Just two of the reasons the volunteers here are determined to feed people well. So, Eileen, how long have you been volunteering here? I've been volunteering approximately three months. I like helping people. So yeah, I sit down and I talk, I enjoy hosting. And why is it important to be able to, to lay up the tables and to make this into a bit of an event? I don't know what walks of life these individuals have been, whether they've been up there, whether they've been down there, but it's just giving them that self-respect and it's to, nice to be waited on. We will sit down and eat with them, share a meal, share ideas, ask them how the day has been and so forth. You're doing it one way and I'm really... Sorry, I'm completely messing this up for you, aren't I? <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to be asked back at this rate. It's OK, but you, there's plenty of time for you to learn. Oh, right, I see. OK. Well, the tables have been laid, the ovens are on, and with the guests starting to arrive in about an hour's time, it's all hands on deck in the kitchen. I've never seen anyone peel so many potatoes in my life. Yeah, I'm on spot duty. I mean, you have to pick up the slack. It's a team effort, so... I'm learning to make like new recipes. Like, last time we made apple crumble. That's quite good as well, yeah. So, learning new things. Fine dining. Yeah. With recycled food, yeah, so yeah. Once the guests gather, service begins. A starter mains and pudding, all made from scratch, using healthy, wholesome ingredients. They make wonderful things out of nothing. Turning into... A gourmet meal, which can be served in a proper restaurant. Stephen is another of the regulars. For him, the social aspect is just as important as what's on the menu. It's a sense of community. Everyone's really friendly. Uh, everyone knows each other. Everyone's welcoming. Even when someone first gets recommended to Food Cycle, and you can see that they're really nervous, like I was back then. People are very welcoming. It's something to look forward to as well. You know, I do look forward to my Wednesday. And everyone's welcome at Food Cycle. Social prescribing, 
in action. I live on my own. And my wife died about five years ago. So just to get me out of the house. The food is very good. We've actually served the equivalent of one million meals since we started. And if you think about all the chopping, peeling, washing up that goes into producing a lovely meal, I think that's quite remarkable that we've achieved one million. And at the end of the night, any leftover food gets given to the guests because, just as you'd expect, nothing goes to waste.